Hi everyone, welcome to The Restaurant Show, and I have such a delight here. I have executive chef Hugo Lee and Miss, the manager, the head, the head in charge when you walk through that door, <laughs> uh, Miss Paige Rutherford from, now I always say, Trattoria Divinia. Am I saying that correctly? It's Trattoria Divina. Trattoria Divina. I always add an extra vowel in there somehow, because <laughs> so, I feel like I'm going to sound more Italian if I say it that way. <laughs> the Divine Restaurant. The Divine Restaurant. And um, you are right around the corner from us. You're over at the um, uh, the plaza, right? Park Plaza. Park Plaza. And um, so easy to find, really easy to find, actually. And um, you are going to prepare for us today a fantastic lobster pot pie. I mean, I'm already excited. I'm just seeing the lobster itself. <laughs> Um, so what do we need to do to get this started? Well, first you need to have a main lobster tail. Yes, beautiful. You know, organic vegetables. Which we have here. We have. Tell me a little bit about the vegetables that you have here, because they're all well, like mini-sized. Yeah, I you love know, it. What, what I try to do is try to do organic vegetables, you know, everything on season. Absolutely. Which brings the freshness to the dishes. Absolutely. And that's oh. what we're looking for people. I love it. And this is the white asparagus? That's the white asparagus. Oh, I love it. Okay, all right. Okay, let's get cooking then, Chef. Okay, so what I'm going to do... I'm gonna put a, about two tablespoons of olive oil. Okay, okay, great. Okay, and a little bit of garlic, and that sliced is nice, garlic. Yeah, nice um, thin know? slices. Let me yeah. show that while you're cooking it off. That okay. is gorgeous. See, I so, I would do like the quick chop in the yeah. jar. I know I, I shouldn't do that. <laughs> <laughs> I can tell you do everything fresh by hand. You're well, about to do all the vegetables now uh, too. What, what I do, I try to uh, yeah. dice them as small pieces. Right. Oh, no. so all bite-sized pieces? All bite-sized pieces. And what is the name of that? That pretty uh, squash? It's a baby zucchini. Baby zucchini. I yeah. love it. It's gorgeous. Now, this is something at the restaurant you guys really pride yourself on, is that you have all fresh farm-to-table, the um, beautiful pastas. And I know you're going to show me next time some pastas. Handmade. <laughs> Handmade pastas. Handmade pastas. Um, but this lobster, is this probably one of your most popular, most It requested? is the wow factor of the restaurant. I know. Wait till you guys see it. It's I awesome. call it the envy dish. The envy. Because <laughs> if somebody orders it, everybody else envies them. They all say, oh, I wish I would have ordered every that. Every table watches. Um, now, do you have to, like, how many requests a night do you probably, I mean, because it's, it's a big production. When you get one out and people see it, exactly. tables that haven't ordered yet have to do I, it. I would it's, if I saw it. It's this special thing. Yes, I love it. Because because we present it table side, so after it's prepared, we take everything out of the pot pie and put it on the table. Right, it's not just brought out to you, it's actually put in front of you. Mm -hmm. Oh, I love that. I, that's, I think that's, that is what makes a difference in a dining experience. It does. For sure, yeah. absolutely. So you you cook the garlic until it gets golden yeah. brown? Yes, absolutely. No. Be careful, you don't burn it, right? You don't burn it because all the way turns bitter. Yeah, yeah, absolutely. So you always try to go look for golden brown like these yeah, sides. Oh, and it smells so good. <laughs> And then you just throw the vegetables. Some people like to steam the vegetables. Right. I don't like to steam them because they get overcooked. Right, you got a little yeah. bit of a crunch in that. Yeah, um, I'm always looking to get a little crunchy on the vegetables. Yeah, absolutely. You know. And plus you're not cooking all the protein and all, I mean all the vitamins and all that good stuff out yeah. of it. And yeah, and then you add sea salt. Of course, you gotta season it, right? And then finish, finish it. You can deglaze with white wine. Okay. Where's the glass for <laughs> right, Paige, you that know what I'm bit, saying? That sister? was empty already. Yeah. <laughs> so, I love it. And then I get a little bit of butter. Just a little bit, right? Just a little bit, just to... Oh, it gives that nice richness. <laughs> Look how beautiful the colors are in that. That is gorgeous. I love it. So, and then I put the lobster on it. Okay. But and I, this is... I mean, this is already done. You, now, you do whole lobster. Do you do whole lobsters? No, we do an eight-ounce tail with this. Eight-ounce tail, okay. Plus lobster meat. Plus, oh, um, there's even more. Oh, mm -hmm. yeah. there's even more lobster. So okay. So, <laughs> I, I put the lobster here so it can cook with the vegetables. Gotcha. And it can release some of the flavor. And But it stays in there. It it's stays like all in there. that flavor of the lobster yes. stays in with the and vegetables. And we got some main lobster meat. Oh, my gosh. That's so, so you got about a pound of meat on the lobster pot. Oh Popeye. my gosh, without all the work. Yeah. That's the key part. Mm -hmm. That is gorgeous. So you just Wait, let so it that's reduce. that's a regular serving? Yes. Yes. Oh For my wine. gosh. So you just let it reduce until the wine's dried up. Yeah. And then you can put the lobster bisque on top. I love it. Okay, so and let's show the lobster bisque. Okay, so this is something that, get add, that gets added to it. Let's just show that. Oh, beautiful cream. Nice and, and more cream butter. base, yeah, more butter, you know, the shells you know, of the delicious. lobsters to make that sauce. So you use everything, so you're going to, and that way you're going to create that nice stock to really use the base mm -hmm. of that. Oh, I love it. Yeah. Okay, all right, let's start to plate it up, and we'll, and as he's adding that, and of course with the magic of TV, <laughs> right, Chef, you've already brought something yes. out. <laughs> Here we go. All right, so we're going to put this together. Miss Page, now is this something that you do, or does Chef, I mean, 
The waiter. The, the waiter. waiter. I was going to say, so they've all been trained to do this. Oh, right absolutely. I'm going to switch spots with okay. you. Okay. And you go ahead and go for it. Oh, my And let's gosh. see if I do it yeah, without <laughs> making a mess. I like to put a little cut in it because we have a lot of food oh, going into this. God. Okay, so this is, while you're doing that, that is, what is this big thing? That's a puff pastry. Puff pastry. Mm. Okay. And it looks ginormous. It looks ginormous. I would just like that. Eat it like yeah, that. you know, <laughs> that that will absorb some of the uh, of the bees, right? Of this, yeah, and it will oh complement the dish. So good, gives you a little crunch along with yeah, it. Yeah, I love it, and it's almost like you know everything you always feel like you have to have bread with, but that's so nice and light and airy. Now, if I was gonna do this at home, maybe not a lobster pot pie, but maybe a chicken pot pie. Can I? How do I do that puff pastry? Well, you can buy a Harris theater. Oh, okay, yeah. There's some five by five puff pastry on the frozen. Right. Like over there in the park plaza, right yes. by you. Actually, that's right around the corner from you guys. And um, yeah, you could do like little ones, right? Little and, ones. And oh, I love it. I love it. You're gonna have to show me that next time too. No problem. Well, well. <laughs> All right, so we're putting the lobster on there, and then there's all of that yummy, delicious yes. creaminess. You don't want to go without that part. Oh, that looks so good. Okay, so tell me now, you guys are open um, 5 to 10, is that correct? Night yes. Night? Okay, and um, reservations, tell me about Strongly it. recommended, especially in season. Yeah. Um, and you've got Father's Day coming up. Yeah, uh, we have some, this is a big dish for that, but we also have an earthen turf. It's a filet mignon right. with agnolotti con fungi portini tartufo nero, what? which are <laughs> half inch shaved ravioli yes. <laughs> with mushroom and truffle with the marsala cream sauce oh with the gosh. filet mignon sitting on top of that. That is fit. And now that is for Father's Day, yes. especially. Um, and you have that special on the menu. But you also, I heard about your linguine pescatori, is that right? Yes, Chef makes his own linguine I and love it. it's. Um, Shrimp, calamari, clams, mussels, lobster tail, served over the linguine with the roasted tomato everything. sauce, a little bit of spice. Yeah, oh. everything of the sea is in I there. I love it. Perfect for Father's Day. So, guys, please check them out. They're over there at Park Plaza. And um, I'm looking forward to seeing all of your new creations coming up. Thank and, you very uh, much. Thank you so much for coming on. Thank you, Paige. Thank you. And remember, keep them in mind for your special occasions. And it is season, so you definitely want to call, make a reservation, because they are a hot spot to be at. We'll be back in just a moment.